Are we going to change the setting? Oh. Um, <laughs> you asked me to see if food spoiled at a slow rate, but I never paid attention to how fast it spoiled anyway. I don't, I don't have anything to compare with. Well, I'm, I'm sitting here watching it. It is. Your family. You can't, uh, lie. Your archers, what, the, what kind of arrows are those they're shooting? Jesus. I don't know. Are you watching them, like, slowly fall to the ground, too? Yeah. Yeah, it's like they've, it's like they have slow-mo arrows. Finally, they left you It's pretty cool, die. but I don't think that's how they're supposed to be. What will you In fact, do what are they shooting, are they shooting at? at? Yeah, there's nothing I think, out there. I think they're trying to shoot at something over the gate. Die. Yeah, did you check underneath your house? A lot of times there's animals under there. Yeah, I checked it. I killed there. a rhino under there the other day. I, I, I got... Oh, there, was dead, right? there was a dead rhino outside the gate. There was a... There was I know elephant and uh, and uh, bird under there. <laughs> One time at once, it kind of got wrecked. Oh, hi. Hey. hey. Yeah, I'm in. The, I'm in the middle of upgrading my house right now. You know, replacing the blocks are kind of a pain in the ass. Like you can't just upgrade, you can't just upgrade the blocks. You have to remove them and then it makes everything else collapse. I was able to upgrade mine. Really? When I, when I probably, what? When I, like... I, I did a door frame and you took it. If I were to, uh, put a block over top, like a new block over top of the old block, like, it doesn't replace it, but it, I don't know how to say it. it stands in the in the space along with the with the old one. If you know what I mean, I, I don't know. These arrows are really weird. So like I'll have a sandstone block and a stone block in the same space, and I have to. I can, it's hard to remove the right one. Because you, because before you was able to upgrade everything but ceilings. Ceilings you had to take out and put new ones in. So am I doing it wrong? Um, how? Just just to be sure, how how do you do it? I just put it up against it where it highlights where the block is, and I, then I just place it, and it just changes over to that block. You'll Maybe. hear the old block break and the new ones up. Let me try with this one. Uh, it's kind of like with art, isn't it? Yeah, that's how art does. It. Since we didn't play Marvel Heroes together today, I'll play Conan. Then. Maybe you need to pick these guys up and set them back down and reset them. Maybe. Maybe they're just firing and firing and firing. I'm thinking, what? At what? No one then they were all firing at a rabbit and they weren't even hitting it, so I had to go over and kill the rabbit. See it doesn't automatically remove the other block. Let me let me try it again. And that's not in front of the stairway. Ah, gotta get the wrong one. So you see, take a look at this window here. Box. 
so much lag. I see this, this, see this window, it's like... There's like the old, the old wall and the new wall in there at the same time. What, what block are you putting in there? Uh, stone brick frame window. I got a stone brick wall. I'm gonna go try it on my place. Yeah, it looks like the door is open. It just hasn't loaded in yet. Yeah, it is kind of funny. You put it in there and you can still see the sandstone through it. Yep. Yeah, because the sandstone's still there. You have to, yep, you have to remove yep. it first. Well, you ain't gonna be able to do that. You have to tear it down. Yeah. You, you mean it wasn't like that before? They, they kind of borked it? Well, the door wasn't that way, but I walked over and looked at my door frame, and yeah, now you can still see the sandstone through it now. <laughs> so yeah, they, they, they messed something up when they did that where you could see everything again. I wonder if it's not letting go of the old graphic. No, it's not just the graphic. The the door is still there, like aside from, like the graphic's still there because the door's still there. Oh shit! I don't know. Ah, the game crashed. Yeah, because I looked at because at first no, it wasn't. the game crashed on me. I hope I don't get killed. I gotta, go, I, I gotta go and make you some more armor anyway. Did the game crash or the server crash? Because I'm, I'm stuck. I'm not stuck. I'm moving around and stuff. Oh. Hmm. It was a, a game for me, I think. Yeah, I can't move. Err. Uh -huh. Oh, never mind. Back up. I'm outside the gate, so I hope I don't get killed. First, they took your family and your riches. I'll take okay. okay. Then they took your health and your pride. Go past the cut the cinema screen, and it's what Finally, weird it doesn't broadcast. They enough. left yeah. you to die. I mean, it did earlier, but... What will you do, Exile, Most when there is nothing left but to live or die? I've got a uh, full set of armor for you. With a shield. I'll put it in a box in here.
Yeah, food is is uh, spoiling at a much slower rate, much slower. It's still going to spoil before night's over, but it is spoiling a lot slower. As long as you keep it stacked, the top one's what spoils first, then the next one. Which that helps a little bit too. I gotta make some steel bars. Steel bars? Yeah. You have to build in steel now? Oh, 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 sorry, I, mean, I thought you meant reinforcements. I thought that my brain was not here. No, 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 no. Just steel, I have to get steel bars so I can make that. I can make three pieces of the heavy armor now. Nice. I can make uh, all five if you want any. Oh. Girl, did you just shoot me? <laughs> Stupid archers. I see now I have the steel reinforcement in there now. Yeah, they're kind of a pain to make. I can't imagine upgrading a house or an entirely complex in steel. Yeah, I don't know how I would upgrade this house without having to tear it apart, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. I, I'm having a hard time doing mine. I, I'd have to tear it all the way down to I its foundation. Mm. Well, you should be right outside the gate, though. Yeah, it should be easy to get through. No. Yeah. Oh, I see your body. There you are. I was looking. I was out. Look, I was out there looking for you, but then I got charged by a rhino. Um. Okay. At, at the blacksmith table, there's a box at the end of it. I have a full set of medium armor and a sword in there for you, and a shield. Well, well, well. Don't you look good in your loincloth? Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a time and place for everything, Death. <laughs> There's always time for it in the age Conan. <laughs> I like that in uh, Discord. She put in there instead of watching paint dry, he's watching food spoil. I like that. <laughs> Uh -huh, it wasn't in there before. Cool. Wow, and seems to be running a little smoother for me, anyway. Yeah, to upgrade this whole thing to brick. God, I'd have. Oh my God. I might just tear it down. Start over. Nah, nah, that, that definitely would take a lot longer. I don't have all the pieces learned anyway to do it all, so I won't oh, yeah. have, to, I have it all. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Is it just me, or does it take a lot of hits to kill a rhino? I, it I take see, a lot of hits. I see you guys, like you and uh, Wild. Yeah. Pretty much kill rhinos in like a matter of seconds, but I seem to take a million hits to kill one. Really? Yeah, I don't know why that is. Do you, like, you, how many hits do you guys take to kill a rhino? Uh, maybe 10, 15, maybe. Yeah, I, I pretty much empty out the durability of an entire longsword and it's still not dead. Really, that makes sense. Hmm. That 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 goes with elephants too. I can wail at an elephant for. I, I'm, I'm wondering. I'm wondering if there is a sword. 
<laughs> I, I wonder. I wonder if it could be the way your stats are played in being a female character. A female character? That can't be, can it? They don't have I, that I don't know. I, I used a stone, a stone sword. I, I don't yeah, you know. See, see yours is a will, female. But what I will tell you, I do run across an elephant or an arena once in a while. That is a challenge. No, no, it's not. It is a challenge. It does quite a bit of damage, but for me, it's it don't ever seem to go down. On your, underneath your house, can you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that one. But no, like, like a rhino. Like I, I can, I know the difference between say, ten and twenty hits, and spending a full entire day emptying out the entire durability of a couple swords on it, and it's still not going down, right? Like there is a vast difference between that. Like, let me ask you, what's your strength at? Mine's at 5. Mine's at 11, so I have more strength than you. Yeah, and mine's only 5. It's it's kind of always been that way for me. I, it, like, every elephant or rhino, I cannot bring down. I finally got my level 3 blacksmith. Yay! Stones. Okay. Okay. I found your body. Yeah. Get my stuff. Yes, I did. Hey! <laughs> oh my goodness! Excuse me. The broadsword. The broadsword is at uh, half durability. Looks like. It shouldn't be. It's brand new. It could right out of the smith. No, oh, I must have taken this, the other one. There were two of them in there. Hmm. Yep, that was the problem. Somebody keeps placing half-used sorts in there, goddammit. Put him in another box. <laughs> <laughs> the ancient copas. Oh my god, I, I I still jiggle in this armor. <laughs> I didn't think I made my character that endowed. <laughs> I know I made mine endowed. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm told we almost made the same character except mine's taller. Oh man, would you play a male character? Can you can you adjust the endowment there too? Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Yep, you can make it longer or shorter. What color did you make your eyes, Kinji? Uh, green. Oh my God, so are mine. So we're. I always make. I always. I always do green eyes when I yeah. make female characters. Yeah. So red hair, like, green eyes. Red hair. Yeah, I got red. Uh, fire red hair and green eyes. And the braided. Oh man. The braided ponytail. Yeah, I took that one too. <laughs> I'm not real fond of, fond of redheads. My mom was redheaded, my sister was redheaded, and they're above bitches. They've got a fiery temperament, apparently. Oh my god, they do. Or so they say, I really, I wouldn't, um, yeah. My mom did, oh my god. My sister, not so much, but my mom, yeah. Yeah, your archers are just firing Can everywhere. Do archers have fire arrows? No, I think that's just a glitch. Not glitch, it's um, yeah. it's um, what do you call it? Oh wait, are they fire arrows? They don't... I never thought well, they even the ones on the wall seem to have fire arrows. But remember when they shoot an arrow at you, it comes in like a tracer as you see it. Oh, that's... I don't think that's fire, I think that's just uh... uh the, the graphic that shows them coming in. Yeah, but it's, it's going slow-mo, in slow motion. Yeah. Bunching up. Yeah, I turned on. I turned up the graphics again after realizing that the uh, the graphics settings has nothing to do with the 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 game freezing up and everything. No. It makes no difference at all. So I turn it back up, and what I didn't realize was you, I can see that. I can see that NPC encampment over there. Right, so can from, I. From our, from our, from our base. Yep. The one again, again on the cliff. Yeah, the one on the cliff. I can see that now. I couldn't. That's, I couldn't see that before. Those are NPCs. Are there NPCs? Yes, there are. Oh shit! <laughs> Go and like murder all of them if you want. <laughs> Boy, it gets dark at night. And how? I'm trying not to cheat by adjusting the gamma. Besides, so really, all it does is make you. Seeing infrared, and it's just weird. <laughs> oh my god.
So how much slower did you uh, change the food spoil? We cut it down by 70%. 70%? Yeah. That way it should stay in the wheels longer, it should stay on us longer, you're not going to be throwing away so damn much. <laughs> hey. Yeah, the food grind is kind of starting to get a pain. Okay. Let's check in my... Well, and that's what we're trying to do, take that, that stress off, because, man, that, that got ridiculous. You have to get a lot of food for everybody, but then there's so much over, and it just spoils so fast. Yeah, no, there's thousands of it. And, and the spoilage is goddamn heavy. I think you're intended to, like, eat just whenever you need to. You just, like, you run around, you get hungry, and you kill, you make a campfire. But then that just re results in you having to cook every, like, few steps. Yes. That kind of takes away from the game a little bit. has to be a way to preserve the food, and you know they had that back then. Even if you had a natural source of salt, you could do it. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think around in this day and age, uh, I believe the Hyborian Age was about 10,000 years ago or 15,000 years Something ago. Something like that, yeah. They used uh, air drying. Yeah, they had jerky back then. Yeah, yeah, they hung their meats to dry on racks and dried it by air. Especially here in the desert area, this like arid region. Yeah, but they still marinated the meat a little bit to give it a flavor, but yeah. That's how they get it. And there's no reason why we don't have drying racks for that. That's what you do. Because I, I, I think that's what you take on your missions. Your, your, you know, you go out of the... On travel. Tricky, right? Yeah. Yeah. It'd be high protein, yeah. I'm sure they have it in mind. They just haven't implemented it yet. Or like oh, that. yeah. They, they, it's they, probably they, in the works. If you go through what their road roadmap is, they have a lot of things they want to do. And expanding the map is one of them, too. Yeah, because I'm... You know, when I first started the game, I was kind of... Of course, being new, right? Um, kind of... Because you don't know the map, it kind of feels pretty small. But now, after playing for a while, I kind of realize you can get from one end of the map to the other in, like, no time. Yes, yes. <gasps> the map is small. They are aware of that. Like, I didn't realize how quickly you can get from this base to the old base. Yeah. Oops. It's not, it doesn't take as long as you think. <laughs> it took me like 20 deaths for the first time I tried to get here. Right. Those spiders. Oh, right. They said they uh, nerfed the spiders a bit. Have you noticed And, and, and hyenas, too. Yeah. The hyenas don't have quite as long of an attack range. And I think the spiders aren't don't either. Uh, the range wasn't really my issue, it was the poison effect that seemed to... Well, and the problem I had, it wasn't one or two spiders. When I had five or six, that's when I'd get in trouble. Yeah, yeah. Like, my gripe was that, my gripe was that with the spiders, they're, they're supposed to be such an early enemy, right? Like, but a spider can potentially wreck a level 50 uh, player in just the same amount of time as a level 1 player, and I found that unfair. Yeah, yeah. Where should I put this life essence? There's a shrine out back at the uh, Wheel of Pain. That's a meteor shrine. You can interact with it and put it in it. Is that my shrine or yours? Mine. Uh, I just built mine recently. Oh, yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, I just got... I just got the... Uh, you know, I, would, I would have never known that person was there until uh, Knight showed me. Where you can learn it? Yeah, by the pipe creek. Yeah, if you, if you would have asked, I could have took you there. I didn't even know that. I needed to. <laughs> I didn't know I had something to ask for. Yeah, 
Yeah, someone told because someone told me that uh, I get to build it for free once I get the priest. So I, I went and, I went and found the priest, and I'm like, well, now what do I do? Yeah. How do you get unblemished to me? Oh, uh, I'm not sure. Cause I only got human flesh off of my new body. Did you use the onk? Yes, I did. That's how I got the life essence. Huh. That's a good question. I've never actually tried it myself. I assumed the using the onk gets you this stuff. Human hearts and unblemished. That sounds like something a yog would do. Yeah, I think it is yog. Because I think uh, Wild does that. He gets that glowing, unblemished meat, and he eats it and it heals him and stuff. It's the glowing meat, right? Yeah, I think so. But then you use a Yog item to put into a Mitra temple? Sounds odd. Yeah, it does. I don't know. Maybe that's how you because I th I read there's some game mechanic where it says you can defile uh, temples. Hmm. I don't know, maybe that's how you do it. Maybe I don't know. Like I said, I'm still learning too. I don't know. How many NPCs are up here? There's like a small encampment. You know, there, can be, there can be 15 to 20 of them. Yeah, just take it slow. Don't like run right in the middle of everything. That's what Knight does, eh? I always see him like just rush headfirst into a, an encampment. He gets swarmed by 20 and just dies in seconds. I was raiding the, I was raiding the ship, the pirate ship, one day, and I'm just like minding my own business, and night comes and mob trains like twenty of them onto me. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, I'm just like run, run. I'm like what? He did that to me up on the on the ship. I was standing there by the where you get on it. He came running through there. There was about fifteen of them, Jason. Yeah, and when he ran by me, they all stopped on me. Hey, remind you of EverQuest? <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Every time you run for a zone, train coming to the zone line, train coming to the zone line, get out of the way! I see one standing out on the first level.
Oh, I should. There he is. Oh my. I'm surprised hmm? he didn't shoot at me. That NPC is an archer. He has a crossbow. Does he not yep. notice it? Apparently not. I'm standing underneath him. At least he's not going commando. <laughs> <laughs> there, that's what I was looking for. God damn it. The last Are you the one um, training up archers and just littering my house with them? I threw a couple of them in your uh, wheel of pain one time. But you're not the one that takes them out and just litters my house with them, right? No. Oh my goodness. I uh, place them in like really weird places. Whoever does, whoever's been doing it. I know. Uh, you had that big pain wheel up there, and I, every time I go by every once in a while, I grab one, I throw it in there. I think I put a couple in there. Go out the gate again. Hope my game doesn't crash. I mean, might need to lower some of my settings. You might. Well, you do just have that GTX 660, so. Yeah, and I keep getting a warning every time I load the game. What warning? Oh, that it has known issues. Oh. Everything's at ultra. Change it to high. Push process. Okay. Ooh. Hey, that's kind of nice. I changed a lot of the qualities from ultra to high when I applied it. The grass is going. Oh yeah. Well, that's what we can do tomorrow afternoon. We can flip flip flop these two uh, cards. No, it must have been delayed reaction. The grass is bad. <laughs> I had to load it. Darn it. I was hoping you could turn the gra ground clutter off like you can in Life is Futile. You know what always bothers me about games with crafting uh, mechanics like this? 
but one sec, my game's really laggy. Yeah, it's that all of the times after you craft something, you end up with more mass than the sum of the what the sum of the parts. Mm. Sometimes, yeah. You really need to rebalance that stuff. Now that was weird. I laid down the foundation, and they both merged. And I broke one. It broke the sandstone one, not the uh, uh, brick. You know it's hit and miss. I, I know. know. I don't know why. Yeah. Yeah, I had to replace. I had to take out a wall section, put a wall section in. Take out a wall section, put a wall section in. Kill the bird first. Oh my gosh, the bird! But I'm sure at some it. point it's going to collapse. Of course, the gra of course the, uh, the physics aren't all that great in this game. So I don't think there are physics. Nope. It's just. You need Actually, four for so many blocks. Oh, fuck, yeah, yeah. I think you gotta have a finish every four blocks oh, out. Damn. But when you build a roof over a big building, you go four out, four in, and you're okay. If you go over that, then you have a problem. My game's getting really choppy. Mm, I think the huh. Oh no, another one! Fuck, son of a bitch! Well, so far, two foundations molded, and I break them, and both of them were left a brick behind. Like I said, it's hit or miss. Sometimes, sometimes it leaves a brick behind. Sometimes it leaves a That's sandstone behind. That was close. Oh you can't lay foundations when you have something laying on them. Yep, yep, yep. Not like Ark. Yeah, you gotta... Uh, that means I gotta rebuild all of my crafting stations. Yep, that's what I was just thinking. Ah, uh, that is annoying. Bouncy, bouncy! <laughs> <laughs> Is there any use for the putrid meat? Not that I know of. None that we found yet. Mm. Wiki doesn't say anything about it either. You get brimstone off those rock noses, don't you? Yep. Let's see. Go ahead. See, when I replaced the stone foundations, bricks, 
face foundation, they break the sound, the sandstone when I place them. Like automatically or what? Automatically for me. Really? I think there's so many differences between your game and mine. See, I was looking right at it when I do it. It's yeah. Going everywhere. <laughs> Am I doing it wrong or something? I don't know. I don't know. I'm able to place it. I made ten of them and I'm placing them down. He's just busting up the old one and leaving the brick down. I wonder why there's always such a difference between my game and yours. Like, to begin with, I don't, I don't to know. start with, your install size was a lot smaller than mine. Yours was like 15 gigs or something? Like 19, but, 19? I, put all the down, but I ended up, when I logged in the first time, I downloaded a shit ton more. Huh. So evidently I didn't download the whole fucking game. <laughs> But then it came down later. That's what took me so damn long to get in. Hey, there, there was still like ten gig to go. Ah, Bob. Hi. Now it's going with the think tank. It's going, about all we can say. Kind of getting in, still, <laughs> still continuously getting annoyed by the building we can. Now there's the section of my house where, um... Ah, uh, this wind is loud as fuck. Well, to be honest, you shall stay annoyed with the building system of that game forever. There's a section of the of my house where I could build um, in a previous patch, but after I think the last two patches, I am now disallowed to build on a certain slope that's not very slopey at all. But now it won't take it. Why didn't you put a door on And so now I upgraded my house, I removed the section of wall that was there before, a few patches before, and now I can't rebuild on it and it's messing it up. I don't know. Small thing, small thing I guess, but to me, that stuff kind of grinds my gears. And that, sounds with my me that, that sounds to me that you're in the spawn area. No, no, it's not a spawn area, it's just that it's on a slope, that's the only problem. It's on a slight, like... Yeah, but that's slope, like it's considered the spawn area. degree incline. It's considered the spawn area. Mm, how, how would you figure? It's, it's just in the middle of nowhere, how can this be a spawn area? It gets treated like uh, the... are basically set as spawn areas. Where you also can't build anymore. Just this one square? Because I can build anywhere anywhere else around it. Could be that it is uh, by accident uh, set to a spawn area. Well, I do, you do know those uh, sandstorms, when they do come, they're going to be dangerous. Yeah, just not now, right? Right now there's no effect, but they will yeah. be. And also, if you're out in the open, there are things that come with the storm that kill you. No, like Ouch. That'd be exciting. Remember that cut scene, those, those little tiger looking thing, lion things that come running in there? I, I think they're part of the storm. Oh, are those nice pussy cats? I heard pussy, what? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I said oh. pussy cats. Me too, yeah. 10 minutes ago. <laughs> Meow. That was a pretty nice sounding cat, who was that? Oh, do you think? I don't know. That was pretty uh, accurate. That, that was that was bringing Bob's pussy out. <laughs> <laughs> That's too much. I I that had a long much. time. Uh, to be honest, I had a long time. I had a cat. And that cat liked to be on my uh, constantly, even uh, even while I was uh, gaming. He liked to sit uh, on, uh, on me and nipple on my sick. Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what? what, what? my beard. He liked to nipple on it. 
Never mind. Never mind. I'm not gonna go any further. I can't. I couldn't help it. <laughs> Just what what he liked to do. Had a personal beard trimmer. <laughs> I'm not going any further with this one. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, you could consider that uh, the cat was uh, slightly gay. Oh, man. <laughs> he, he liked to hang around, uh, around men. And, uh, and he didn't like females. <laughs> and he was self also man. Was not a female cat. <laughs> I don't think I don't think my cat's ever once meowed like a cat. Ah, uh, he could meow, but uh, he most of the time didn't. Oh, he makes he makes noise. It just doesn't sound like a cat. You guys ever seen those like those kids' toys where it's like a little cylinder, and when you turn it upside down, it makes the sound that goes like ow, ow, yeah, yeah, like that. yeah, yeah. That's what my cat sounds like. That's that's yeah. my cat. Meow. That sounds also a lot like a cat that sometimes sits for in front of my door. It's a neighbor's cat, but he can sound like that, but it also sounds like a nice cat. <laughs> <laughs> Just la uh, lays on what, what mood he is in, and what he wants. 9 out of 10 times just attention, because his boss doesn't give him enough. And he knows that he can uh, come by me for attention. Hmm. Oops. Hey, Death. Well, you could have gone into admin mode. Mo admin mode. Went into server settings and adjust the item spoil rate. There. Was it there? Does yeah, that really affect, affect this here? Yeah, I think so. Cause I mean, it's it's got it set at what we put it at in the INI file. See, I've been looking at those, but I didn't know if they really affected us in the game. It's the same stuff you have uh, in your standalone. Uh, Def, if you're not sure that it works or not, just trial and error. I have tried it. Yep. I have tried it and I haven't noticed a difference, so I don't know. And no one's ever said anything when I played with them. No one said what? I've played with those settings before and nobody really noticed anything or said anything. I would play with them and see if anybody would say anything if I adjusted it. Yeah, well, like Since nobody said they anything, I figured they didn't work. Yeah, well nowadays that did work. I didn't, I didn't announce I did it, but I wanted to see if anybody would notice a difference. Are we just talking about food spoiler trait? Yeah. At the moment, the border, uh, border, uh, mo uh, most boring job there is. Is, is what? Watching updates getting installed. <laughs> oh yeah. 
Yeah, tell me about it. That's life on Steam, isn't it? Uh, I'm not talking about Steam. Yeah, you're talking about your server. I'm talking about Windows updates. Oh, God, yeah. That, that's a job. You know you could go do something else, right? <laughs> well, it's almost done. And these are basically in virtual boxes, so... Yeah. There's some. It's almost done, done. You know you can convert these heavy, these uh, thick, thick hides into regular hides, right? Oh, really? Cool. When you get later in the game, you, you kind of stop doing that because you'll need yes. thick hides. Yep, I need thick hides for the uh, heavy armor, but I don't, I'm not making it yet. Still have 400 thick, thick hide in there. This is trouble with games with non-deformable terrain. You have to find a you have to find a good spot to build rather than dig out an area for yourself. And uh, that's mostly why I go for fox or games. <laughs> yeah, because they they can do that easily. Yeah. Yeah. But then again, well, well, the, all deformable game uh, where the terrain can be deformed in any shape and. Uh, like you want, are considered voxel games. But at the same time, voxel games, you can't have, uh... I guess you can, but it's not as beautiful as a pre-rendered uh, environment is. Oh, I've seen a few voxel games that look amazing. Oh, I bet they look nice, it's just they're not as crafted as something like, say, <laughs> You know, here, this corner next to uh, like I'm looking up at, I'm looking out at, at the it, scenery. It, 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 the scenery it, it is magnificent. Its, yeah. Um, Fox Cam has its, do uh, its drawbacks, but it gives a lot more playability. That is true. I guess you you always sacrifice something for something else if you. you know, there's there's always. I read. Uh, I read. Uh, to be honest, I read a. Uh, sacrifice some beauty for replayability, and that well, I can build like my heart intends. There's beauty, and this will have playability once they get more in it and expand the map. Yeah, and not in my uh, what I see in replayability. It mean uh, with replayability that I mean it, it, the whole map can be changed to your. Hard attempts. Well, and that may come down the road. You don't know. Uh, actually, the way he wants it to be, I don't think so. This game's built on just the game's not built as a voxel game. You, no, there's, it's there's not. no, there's, there's, yeah, there's uh, replayability the in the engine, way you're thinking, but not the like engine Bob that they used can do it, but it goes a hell of a lot working to do it. And I doubt that will do that much work. Because that, uh, that means that they're gonna have to set the game at three times the price that it is already. I think they... I think I read on one of the update notes where it said that they did have deformable terrain at one point in time. But they removed it because it was creating way too many bugs with, the, with the, some of the scripting stuff that they wanted to do. Right, right, right. I know the engine can handle it. Yeah, they can handle it because it was built for it to begin with. What the? Right. But the, the way they're putting no, it, 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 it's not for their scripting. Uh, I know it can handle because I, I know the engine. I've been working around with the engine already a long time Have ago. you ever played uh, Age of Conan, Bob? No, but I do know the I engine. Have. 
This is the same engine they used for it. It's a beautiful game. Combat is beautiful. It runs good. They had to take the yeah, I'm for talking. It out because it doesn't work with their specific scripting. It has nothing to do with the engine. I'm talking about that the engine can handle it. They don't use I the know engine the engine. that. I know the engine even three versions back. I've, I've been a little bit of, by my job, I'm a little bit trained to work with it. Yes, they're not making a voxel-based destructible world. They want a game that plays beautifully yeah. and with beautiful scenery. They don't want but you to turn it down. Techni in technicality, it can. I'm not saying it can't, but the designers of this game don't want it. They didn't choose for it. Exactly. So we have to live with that. <laughs> it's also why I, why I don't really like Ark so much. True, because it's a lot like that. You can't do a lot with the terrain. Yeah, and I like to this. work a lot. I go more for a Minecraft style of worlds. And that means voxel based. So that you have control over the whole world. Well, yeah, you can't do. You can't. But the only thing you can do is deforest and de stone in art. But that's about it. You can do a little bit of building, but you cannot decide from ah, I want to have a pit there, and I want to build underground in that pit. No, no, no. <laughs> Not in art. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's why those uh, are not that appealing for me. You know, you mentioned a lot about Age of Conan. Um, as far as I know, it's just the same developer making it, right? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Same Conan developer, but game. a slightly different version of the engine. Yeah, that's the thing. You, uh, you guys are making a lot of comparisons between the two, make, making it seem like it's kind of the same game. But what, what's kinda. the difference, really? Well, like, in Age what do you get here that you don't get from Age of Conan? Because yeah, I never played. Age of Conan has a better combat system. When you go into combat, you choose where your shield is, and you can see where their shield is, and you can make attacks around that shield if you do it right. You choose your strike. You choose how to strike and where to strike by where they put their shield or whatever. It, it comes down to tactics. Oh man, that reminds me of another game earlier. Uh, some some late '90s game by Interplay, something called something by the Sword or something. You remember that? I remember something about Interplay. I don't remember the name of the game though. It, it it was kind of the same idea. Like you can choose where you strike and choose where your shield is. Um, or, uh, one of the, uh, one of the mid to late '90s games, uh, Die by the Sword or Live by the Sword or something like that. Oh okay. And I, they, uh, they, okay. They, they, and they got some developers from that company to do this. You know what I mean? Yeah, whatever did happen to Interplay, they were really nice. I don't know. They had a really good stuff. If I got sucked up by somebody else, it's hard to say. <laughs> uh, multiple. Who? Uh, Interplay had also a few racing games that I did like. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. So I was never into racing games. Uh, th those racing games were... Basically, you had a car, you had to do missions, but you had also weapons on your car. I played an old board game called Car Wars by Steve Jackson Games. That was a fun game. Car uh, Wars? I think uh, the games that yep. I referred to were Interstate. There's an elephant over here. Oh, Interstate was a good game. Uh, uh, there were two models of it, and the only difference was the number that was uh, behind Interstate. Interesting was, was based off of another game, an older game called Auto Duel, by, also by Interplay too, right? Yeah, it was, that was a nice game. It was basically a destruction derby with uh, a little bit extra. <laughs> and the weapons were basically the extra. I'm kind of surprised that they just disappeared like that, because they, they were having a lot of success with uh, the Neverwinter Nights series. Right. Just after uh, that, they just disappeared into nowhere. I'm like, where did you guys go? They may uh, have that, they that, might have got sucked up by somebody. <laughs> Probably. I would have to say they got sucked up by one or all three of the big players. 
Like EA or Activision or something? EA, Ubisoft, Bye, or Tom. the other big player on the playing field. Because I know there is a third one, but I can't come on, on, on its name. Um, but EA is one of the super biggest. Oh man, EA is just one of the nastiest companies out there. Uh, nastiest and, uh, and, and at the same time also the... I don't know, just what they did with, uh... Just seeing what they did with uh, The Sims, the whole Sims franchise. Especially when they went from Sims 2 to Sims 3, that was just horrible. Uh, I would have to say Sims 3 was pretty good. Oh man, the the engine, with the way the way it was built, it was all right. But the fact that they, um, the fact that they stripped it down to bare bones to even less content than the vanilla original Sims 2 had. And then you had to, they, they, they released everything else as DLC. And that was a slight downfall, but the biggest downfall from that franchise was more from uh, 3 to 4. Oh, I didn't even bother with 4. I, I just lost um, out of it all. I sometimes play it, but I didn't pay for it. <laughs> cheater. You cheater. Yeah, it's cheater. Alright, I said cheater, cheater, sometimes cheater, cheater. play it. I didn't say that I constantly play it. Mostly when a new DLC comes in. I, I, you know, a few minutes playing, looking at it. It is it is pretty though, I, I give it that. Um, it looks the good. In the videos I saw of Sims 4. But after the bullshit, it's the it's biggest downside that broke up the tongue. <laughs> what do you mean you yeah. broke up like? They broke up the town. Oh, right, yeah. What was in Sims 3 the whole town was one load. In Sims 4 it split up in 4 or 5 sections. I'm too heavy to move, I took this uh, furnace down and I got everything out of it. Uh, I'm a little overweight. <laughs> Alright, when are you not overweight? Knock off the fat jokes, buddy. Just cause I got a big ass. <laughs> Who's to say that's a bad thing? Right yeah. here, right next to you. Well, last time I checked, I, 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 I have a pretty big body. Uh, I'm here. built like a tank. I'm just a stick with a bulge. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on, I'm going to be dropping stuff to you. If you get overweight, I'll come back and get it off of you. I'm fine. I'm still dropping, babe. <laughs> I don't know why that sounds weird, but okay. Uh, I that <laughs> make me think uh, when I see that. <laughs> no, now it says I'm carrying too much weight. <laughs> well, hang on. If I can get to where I can move, I can get this stuff. I can get the new furnace up, and well, that'd be all right. Let's see if I can get server two online. Oh man! After I after I upgrade, sorry. After I get the uh, God, so I have full gas. <laughs> now I'm overweight. Uh, I love Weird. to be overweight. It won't even let you crouch when you're overweight, and that's silly. 
Why would you? Why do you need the car? We're ready for more. <laughs> doesn't really do anything, does it? Can you open it and put all that stuff in it? Go. Yeah, hold on. Oh, yeah. Are you able to move yet? Yeah, taking my original stuff back. <laughs> okay. I'm not rebuilding this house once I get all the steel stuff learned. This is a pain. You're playing my game! What does that even mean? <laughs> I just used you a shield. You need some steps in here. So that's how you go to spot for the apocalypse, huh? I might be a tanker, but I still use the shields. <laughs> You're mostly speedy. Alright, I'm gonna log out and have some supper and then I'll be back. Alright, here. Yeah, of course I'm speedy. Why would you need a? Uh, why would you need to tank if you're not going to take any damage, right? I I just say that I'm a tank because of, of how how much I weigh. Oh, I thought you were talking about the way we game. <laughs> it's also <laughs> how I mostly game. <laughs> In most every modes, I like to be a tank. I lost my mouse cursor. I like to be it also in seven days. Yeah, when I play MMOs, I focus more on the dodge rate than HP. I mean, I go for AC and HP, and then a lot I feel comfortable with that. Then I will, I will add some agility to give you know maneuverability. But no, it's not my primary. Oh, I should. Just exited the game. And so I'm one of those guys that likes to hit the 50, 60,000 hit point mark and then worry about other stuff. Uh, the characters that I'm mostly in MMO play with uh, and find me a don't pocket need cleric that. to take with me. Okay. They have already, as a base, they have already an extremely high hit point. King Crash. Yeah, but you, you, want, uh, you probably play those MMOs that like have. High numbers of like damage too, or, mm. or the uh, lights on the character. Kind and of. am I it and uh, am I the main menu in uh, the game crashed? Ah, no, like I, I played I played EverQuest for many years, and I was a tank in there, and it was fun. We'd get up into the planes, and you'd go into a raid with seventy-two people, and the and the mob would have one point five million hit points. But every player does like a hundred thousand hit points, kind of like that kind of deal, right? No, just the tanks. Most everybody else would be in the ten to fifteen, twenty thousand range for like all your cra all your uh, uh, casters, and you'd have a tank that'd be occasionally sixty-five, seventy thousand hit points. No, oh, thanks for watching. Um, I'll be back. Sometimes I feel like these those MMOs. I feel like those MMOs just inflate the numbers. Just it doesn't mean anything. Like, have you seen uh, Diablo? 